Hey guys, Huz here bringing you a new video, or another video I rather normally say. Uh, this time I'm talking about New Year's resolutions, that type of thing. Um, so this video is going to be a vlog video, pure vlog video, where that is just me on camera. Although we will be talking about league stuff, um, this video will also be based on personal stuff and YouTube stuff and league stuff. Um, so briefly, I just want to say my 2013, normally people in these type of videos or when they talk about this subject, you do reflect on your past year. And I'm recording this 6 p.m. on 31st of December. So we're literally about six odd hours away from the new year. So my past year, 2013, eh, it's been one of them years you could probably hit or miss apart from a couple things. Now, obviously the main one being YouTube. Although my account is like two or three years old, I only started YouTube about five, no, it's more than that really. It's like seven months ago properly. Um, but I've only really been starting to grow and got a little bit of recognition in the past three, four months, which is fine with me. As obviously new channels breaking through into YouTube is actually quite hard to do. And I'm very grateful to even where I've got now. You know, a lot, I know a YouTuber that I actually do follow. Um, and he doesn't do any league content. He, he does like comedy on like different games like GTA. I watched him when I've been a bit down and that just to have a laugh. And he's only got like 3000 subscribers or so. And he's been doing it for years. Although he does not do YouTube to promote himself at all. He's only got 3,000 3, subs and he's really funny. And you do get people like that. And a lot of people just slip through the net and don't get any subscribers. And then, uh, luckily I have been caught in a small net. Uh, but I'm very grateful to be caught in that net. And hopefully in the next upcoming year things will improve a lot. Or not improve, just grow a little bit more. Uh, which I think they will. And I'll be getting onto that soon. And another thing that's productive that's happened in 2013 is I joined uni. Um... When growing up, me and education never really met eye to eye. I was always interested in sport or gaming a lot more than education. And that would be another resolution. Um, so to actually be in university is a big kind of achievement for me. Um, yes, I am staying local and I could have gone to a lot better unis. I did have offers from better unis. And uh, the uni I go to is basically a common university that anybody really can go to. And you've just got to make the most of it yourself. Um, which I'm fine with and that just basically has to put me more, you know, on work and this uni is actually really improving from what it was in like five, ten years ago. It's really actually quite good now. Um, but it just means you actually have to do try a lot harder in as an individual yourself, which is fine. Um, so to actually be in uni and doing okay, you know, I've passed pretty much everything that I've gone into um, and I'm plodding along, um, which is good for me. But that is one of my resolutions. So I'll go into that quickly. One, the first one is university. I don't want just to plod, plod along, along anymore. I want to do quite well. Um, you, know, you know, if you know the UK job market or any job market, degrees are kind of a must if you want to get a quite a decent job. You can. You, there are examples of people breaking through the net and getting a good one, but the, your best chances are having a degree. And the best degree possible is obviously the, the better chances you have of getting a good job. And that is basically asking for a 2-1. I'm not going to go in the ins and outs of it, but basically I'm working to about a low 2-2 two -two right now, which needs to be improved. And although your first year does not count to your actual degree, it's kind of a good benchmark of what you're going to end up with. Um, so in the next term, I'll be trying a lot harder. And the, basically the way I can explain it is like scales. In my life, if we take the, my right hand, being gaming or sport and we take the left hand as education it's always been like this for me so sport and gaming has always been above education which is really bad where i need to do a lot of people say you need to do this education before these stuff but that's not really realistic for me and that does sound bad but it's just who i am this is realistic for me this this together is what i want and that is what i'm going to try and achieve if they're level if that i know I've got to do gaming stuff, got to do a video, but I've also got to do this, then that's great. Where before I've been like, got to do work, but I'm going to do this, which is not good. So that was my first one, is going to be focusing on leveling out uh, both gaming and, well, if I get back into sport a bit, there'll be another one, and then also education. Second one is get back into fitness, basically, leading on quite nicely for that with the sport reference, but um, I was someone as mentioned I uh, grew up with sport you know my dad was an ex golf professional my sister has played for countries in whale um, in golf such as wales um so we and my uncle was a golf professional you know we're a big sporting background my one of my granddads was a football coach my uncle's a very good footballer and my great granddad was a semi-professional footballer you know we're a sporting family and i used to be 
in the middle of that, I was a sports leader. I was captain of football teams, A League footballer, whatever, county athletics. You got it. I was there, and I dropped that off about three years ago, and I kind of regret it. My body, <laughs> I won't go into details, but it has put on a significant amount of weight in the fact that uh, I don't want it anymore. And now it's not an issue day to day. Don't get me wrong; that it's not that bad. Um, but if, say, I wanted to go for a jog or run, that type of thing, then it is an issue, which I occasionally I feel like doing. Um, although I don't really do it right now because of this, um, sometimes I do have that kind of urge, which is kind of what I used to have. Um, so I'll be joining a gym and I'll be going there as much as possible, losing this as possible. And again, this year is kind of about leveling things out. Although this is what I used to be in fitness and this is probably what I am right now. I'm never going to get back there. I'll probably just go in the middle and just be at a general fitness level, which is fine. Um, and that's the same with education and gaming. So that is kind of what's happening this year for me. And that'll be great because I'll be joining the gym late January because I know right now it's going to be packed uh, with people getting gym memberships for Christmas. They're a bit guilty of what they've ate. So everybody joins the gym first couple of weeks and then kind of give up where I'll actually be joining it and continuing. And I'll be going there about two to three times a week, which would be good. Um, so that is another thing. And now going on to the things that people will probably find most interesting with this video is the League of Legends and YouTube stuff. So firstly, League of Legends, what is kind of my aspirations for the next season? Um, so in the, you know the upcoming year, basically I want to get as high as possible my main account. As you'd imagine, you know Challenger is opening to 200 spots, and the highest I've ever got in Diamond One is like 25 points. Um, so I'll be aiming for high Diamond One at least, and that is 90 points plus is high Diamond One, and that's kind of well 80 points is kind of when you start to play with the likes of the LCS players, and I'll be getting that as soon as possible, and you know working hard to get that. Hopefully um, the new season comes in early January because I have the rest of January off. I have assignments to do right now, which I'm working on, and they're going fairly well, so thanks for asking. Um, I got to hand them in January the 6th, so a week yesterday. And then after that, I get, I have the, like, the whole of January off. And I hope, I, I pray to God, that the first, uh, well, the next season, season four, will be fully coming to EU West at the beginning of January. Because that would be great. It will leave me the whole of January basically to get back into Diamond. Hopefully Diamond 1. And then the rest of the season to get high Diamond 1. If not Challenger at one point. And then for my Smurf. Many people ask, you know, what am I going to do with my Smurf? Um, Diamond 1 again. I want to have two accounts in Diamond 1. And then probably look to get a third account. Which, honestly, this is the one thing that confuses me. As I do see YouTubers do it. Is getting a bronze account and Smurfing that up. And honestly, I don't know how to get a bronze account without it going against the rules of Riot. You know, I could level account, which is fine. But then I'm not going to go into games purposely losing because that, in, in effect, is going against the rules. And I, I, I'm too competitive to just give free wins away and I feel too bad for my teammates. Um, I could get given an account, which I've been offered. But that, again, is probably against the rules somewhere down the line. I could buy an account, but again, that's against the rules. I, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm going to have to look into it quite a bit maybe even send riot a support ticket saying i want to do this what is the best options for me going about doing it so we'll have to see so that is one thing um you know two accounts in diamond one hopefully even challenger at one time in the season obviously now being a jungle main i have increased chances of actually getting into challenger and you may go why if you actually look at any challenger um bracket or league whatever in any of the regions generally junglers make up about a third of all of the challenger slots now if you actually think a third of all the slots so if it's 50 they're taking up about 18 to 20 of them slots just as a jungler and you've got five roles in the game so junglers have quite an impact of the game more so than others to get them into challenger so that is one thing that will be helping me and in my favor uh, another thing league related is with the fives team hopefully to get back into fives we're in a small break right now and go to a few lands and you know, hopefully have some fun with the team, you know, fight, etc. That should be good. And then finally moving on to the YouTube stuff, which will actually include streaming and that type of thing. So the first one I want to say is I have been given a couple of opportunities. I'm not going to go into great detail with this, but I've been given a couple of opportunities to actually live cast events, um, which I never thought I'd actually get into or think to get into. But the more I think about it now, it will be actually quite a cool experience to, to do. So I think I will talk to the people that have offered me. I've been offered, I think, two events. Um, and we'll have to see. You know, being a live caster would be pretty damn cool. It's a quite cool route if I eventually want to try and get into LCS casting. Very long shot. But that might be a route to take. 
Um, so events will be one that does include lands with the team. If I'm just competing, that be, I, I do want to do that. Uh, but if casting is in that, then that's great. And then for the YouTube channel, um, I briefly touched, I think, on it earlier that the bigger you are, the more you grow. And that is true. And to get 12,500 odd subscribers in my first kind of six odd months of really taking YouTube more seriously than normal people, or, you know, more than I did, is good. And I'm not going to put a number on the first six months or a year or the next year, but I kind of do have a number in my head, but I don't want to say it because if I don't reach it, I look like an empty. Um, and who knows? I may not reach it. Who uh, You know, let's just say it does have three zeros. Is this three zeros? Yeah, three zeros. Yeah, I'm above three zeros now, technically, with the 12,000 thingy. But yeah, that, that's not really much of a giveaway. Right. It's... I'll, I'll just say, in this whole year, this whole year of 2014, if I get 50,000 subscribers, I'll be really happy. Now, I have spoken to a few people, and a lot of people actually say I may get more than that. But one thing I need to do is make more user-friendly content. And that is one thing I want to briefly touch on. User-friendly content is basically not the big half an hour full game commentaries. Because I do understand that takes a while to watch, and you actually need to put time down on watching them. So, in the next year... I'll be dedicating at least one series to having a short or shorter time and that maximum will be about five minutes per video and that could be focusing on just little tips here and there or uh, a guide of some sort you know if I I'm not going to rip off this video at all but he does a three minute uh, three minute champion guide for AD carries he has done briefly or occasionally a different champion in a different role I may do a variation of that for jungle of champions but obviously I do not want to rip off Fi. he made that three minute thing you know his and that i respect that so maybe i'll make a five minute one and like t change the format as i will respect what he does um so that could be a thing and then you know more commentaries to come more guides champion guides a lot of people do ask for them they will be coming and i'll be actually working on them after january the 6th um because of after i hand in my assignments as i say i have nothing going on so after that time i can invest a lot more time into university this month so I'll be looking to do as many champion guides this month as possible. So then, you know, when February comes, I could have three more available available to upload. If you get one of my drift, like plan ahead. With all the YouTube changes, I may have to do that anyway. And a lot of people say, will it? Will these changes affect me? Not a lot, uh, because I mainly do League of Legends. And on Riot's legal page, they clearly state that they are completely fine with content producers making money out of League and showing content. So making content for League is fine. It just may affect my if I occasionally try to do another game, which I try to do very occasionally. But if I ever wanted to do that, I will be hard to do. Um, and that's pretty much it, I think, for my whole video. It's been 13 minutes odd long. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So the comments below kind of say, what are your goals for the next year? League related, personal related, school, education, work related. Do you want that promotion? Maybe. I don't know. That type of thing. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this a bit more personal touch I guess to put on the channel uh, rather than a just a, a flat guide so I think which are good is good for league but these personal things I thought I'd be a bit more personal so anyway thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time